Torres, beautiful queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Terror. How you doing, beautiful queens and handsome kings? Cross watchers, welcome. Energy does flip. Just don't come trying to put your foot in the shoe that don't fit. Come in the waters. Peaceful self-regulation. All right. Thank you, everybody, for personal reads and donations. If you need my information, please hit the arrow under the title. And you got balance, stability, and stand firm. All right. It says it's time for you to take an honest look at your daily energy. Are things too hectic for you to maintain a calm approach to your tasks? You may feel you have no control, but you can, and you must regulate the pace of your everyday activities. Always devote some time to your own peaceful priorities. The water of your life runs deep, and there are often deeper personal lessons you may be aware of. Do you have the ability to be self-direct, self-boundary, create balance, and stay calm and spiritually connected even in the middle of personal or professional storms? Face of unending and sometimes frantic demands of life is telling you to stop and trust in the unwavering truth of your soul's universal connection. Peaceful yet profound faith will calm the spiral waters and bring a blessed resolution you desire. Your affirmation is, I have the infinity source of peace and calm within. I direct my life with balance each day. All right. So calm. Even though your personal or professional life might be bringing in storms, the universe is here to back you up and bring balance. So you can stay firm and have stability. Ask yourself, are you engaging too much work and not enough fun? Too much care for others and too little caring for yourself? What about practical matters? Are you eating healthfully and drinking enough water? Are you getting enough Muscle movement and peaceful relaxation. All these approaches can easily be abandoned when you get busy or stressed. But those precise times when you need stability and balance most, okay? Notice the light in the palms of the priestess. Right and left means re repetitive and active are energized, extending up the universal connection, displaying an equal focus of yin and yang energies and calling you to become more energetically conscious. If you tend to be passive, it's time to stand firm in support of your own higher intentions. Yet, if you tend to be active with little or no reflection of meaning or purpose, now's the moment to look inward and find balance there. You can achieve balance simply by paying attention to the needs of your daily life. Make choices that honor your body, spirit, and personal priorities. You create stability and stamina necessary to see through to the fruitation of your greater dreams and desires. Your affirmation is, I have the power to prioritize my life. I choose to live a balanced, healthy, and honoring life every day. So calm brings balance. Some of y'all are giving too much time and energy to other people's needs and not your own. Some of y'all not giving <laughs> activity to needs and you need to balance. Well, that went flying. All right. It says, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. A couple people got this. Don't be afraid of losing somebody that don't want you. That would bring your emotions and keep you not calm. But you got to stay firm and balanced. If they don't want you, lesson for a blessing. And it could be lover, family, or, or business. Okay? Look. It says, try to be a rainbow in someone else's life. You know the truth. Be the rainbow in your own goddamn life, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Look. Peace comes within. Don't seek it without. Don't be seeking peace without. Outside of your life. 
When you love yourself, not saying nobody don't love themselves. You know how motherfuckers take shit and run with. But when you love yourself, you don't give a fuck about when nobody else don't love you. Everybody getting this tent. What is up with all these third parties against everybody? Fuck them bitter bitches and bitter bombs. Whoever on the negative side, fuck them. They in the tent. It says, this clock tent holds up to four adults sleeping closely together. There's a four more people that's been closely doing shit against you together. Yeah, trying to ration you out your shit. Your bread. Bread up to majority and Mitra. So you got people out there trying to ration out your motherfucking bread. And they saying food or bread is money. Some of y'all need to continue to take uh, uh, holy water. Some of y'all need to take spiritual baths more than once the, the moons. And if you didn't do one yesterday on the new moon, you still got today, you still got tomorrow. But I mean, you don't have to just do them on the moons. You, some of y'all got the gifts are so spiritual that you should regularly take a spiritual bath two times a week, if not three. I don't know why these cards is flipped like this. Something to be flipped in somebody's life unexpectedly. Yeah, somebody been masking shit around y'all. That shit's finna, they finna be unmasked. And maybe somebody drinks a lot. But somebody finna be unmasked and it's gonna be unexpected for their ass to be unmasked. Yeah. Look, <laughs> what I say? It's gonna be unexpected. It's gonna be justice for you. But it's gonna be unexpected that this person, yeah, baby. Justice is coming. Justice, whether it's family, love, or friends. If it's just justice and you letting go of somebody that really didn't want you or somebody that's been this third party that's been trying to rationale out your bread because they said not just uh, food bread. It was rationing out your bread, money. That was, Them burdens going to be released out your life. Well, damn. Ha! Yeah. Them secrets ain't finna be secret no more. Didn't I say somebody was finna be on mass? Them illusions are finna, and them secrets is coming out. Huh? Of the home and community conflict. Baby, somebody was working off their weakness. And they gonna see they didn't have no strength when they should have had it by fucking with you. Uh-huh. Because justice is your, yeah. Bad investment. Didn't, I, didn't they say bread? It wasn't just... Food, rationing out your food. Somebody was messing with your money. And maybe messing with your money made it hard for you to feed your fucking self or your babies. Or both. That's fucked up. Yeah, but whatever they thought was going to work, didn't work. Whatever they thought was going to work, didn't work. Look, the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. Somebody in law, is coming. To, the truth is coming out. The police... It's getting involved in some shit that got to do with that money. They're going to say that was a bad investment. Miss chance with you and miss opportunity. And why they thought they could take your fucking kindness for weakness. They slept on your intuition. And you said since a motherfucker trying to take your kindness for weakness. You kept that motherfucking cup. You ain't got no emotions for that motherfucking ass. Because you wasn't afraid to let go of somebody that wasn't fucking willing to. To, that didn't even want, they didn't want you, family, lover, or friend. They couldn't have wanted you and was doing the bullshit they was doing against you, could they? Could they? They go, then I say bad investment. Look, bad motherfucking investment. Yeah, one sided relationship, discontent, bad contract. Anything else y'all want to tell to us? Look, I was so lazy. I just, yeah. Look, somebody tried to cause stagnation in your life through chaos and brutality and lies. And lies. But guess what? They can tell all the lies they want. There's somebody of authority that knows the fucking truth. King of Swords is head over hard decision. King of Swords is police, FBI, somebody of law. And look at this justice. This same man, he got the soul in the sword. 
There's somebody of justice that knows the truth. That somebody was trying to, through chaos and brutality and lies, take your crime. Cause stagnation in your life. Home conflict, community conflict. Let me take one more. Stealing your bread. Because they was jealous. They was insecure. They was gossiper. They was malicious. Look, somebody was trying to steal your money. Whether it was out of your bank, whether it was inheritance, whether it was a will, whether it was property, there is... You finna get justice for that shit. That third party, that they, they, they and they go, they missed a the chance through that case of brutality. They can't be part of your legacy with that greedy ass that was trying to steal your legacy. And somebody of law knows the truth coming to get they this third party. They they was what it say? Adults sleeping closely together. They were sleeping closely together. They going down together. Love you, beautiful queens and kings.